Oh, oh. 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 All you niggas in jeopardy. Y'all already know that's my name. Fuck all you niggas who question me. I ain't here to kill nobody. Fuck all you triggers and weaponry. If it's static, yeah, let him have it. Sniff all you niggas who stepped to me. Punch all them niggas who stepped to me. Hold on. I pause so y'all catch your breath of me. I don't dance, but I bust a move. Lord, you niggas can't mess with me. I'm different. Pimping. Your bro, she will get the best of me. I get in and get out. Now she out for the count. And Lord, who gon' get the referee for the three count? It's over. Man, that's the end of the game. Yo, yo, yo. What up, ladies and gentlemen? What's good? Bars, bullies in the house. In collaboration with EJP Entertainment, the nonstop radio show. It's your boy Emilio White Bar. And I'm here today with Jeopardy. And we got the champ down here, Pep. What's really good, fellas? Man, we here doing this face off in pre- preparation for the event that's coming up June 22nd on Saturday, next Saturday to be exact. Stampede is going down. Harlem was really good. Make sure y'all in the building. If y'all want to get the $20 at the door, do that. If you want to get your early bird tickets, make sure y'all go to Evan Bright and go purchase your tickets right there. Fellas, it's a wonderful to have you here and, you know, introduce yourselves. Yeah. Uh, oh. Anything golden, man. I mean, you already know what it is, Remember man. Was on. That's Remember all it is. The building. That's Anything all it is. Golden. That's all it is. So you fellas are the co-main event for this event coming up, Stampede, next Saturday, man. How do y'all feel about the battle? We're going to go first with Jeopardy. Jeopardy, how you feel about the battle? Um, no, nah, I'm looking forward to it. You know what I'm saying? Um. At this point in my career, like I honestly I couldn't ask for a better opponent, you know what I'm saying? At this time, um, I already know what you know what I'm saying I'm coming to do. I know what I gotta come prepared to do. I think for my first event, um, on our first card, like it's a great battle, um, main event material for sure. Um and just you know what I'm saying, I'm just looking forward to putting on, you know what I'm saying, like I said, with this battle. You know I'm saying I thought it was gonna this battle was gonna happen a long time ago, honestly, but we had now. Um so yeah, now nah, it's gonna be a show. It's gonna be a fight for sure. Mm-hmm. And Pat, what you got in, in store for the battle? What people can expect from you? How you feel about this? I mean, I ain't gonna front this battle it was supposed to go down a while ago, but mm-hmm. uh I don't think it was either nobody's fault or none of that. Just you know, everybody had different stuff on their plates or whatever. And I honestly wasn't aiming for Jeopardy. I was aiming for other guys in the league, like the slackers and shit. I was just trying to get the dead weight out the way or whatever. Jeopardy was somebody who always held his own. You know what I'm saying? He uh put his numbers up and shit. So I wasn't really after him or whatever. But uh this battle gonna be crazy. And, and this is his first main, uh his first uh event. Shout out to him, me and him co main event. Yeah, it's about to be crazy. It's definitely battle of the night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got you got a few other, you know, dope MCs on the card and all that good stuff too. A lot. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing mm-hmm. this battle unfold as well. You know, Jeopardy, me and him, we go way back. Pep, you know, all that good stuff. I heard mm-hmm. a lot of good things about you guys. So, you know, when it comes down to it, man, like what got you fellas into wanting the battle, man? Yo, I go front. Uh, I pulled up at an event with my man Goods one day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they they asked, did somebody want to rap on camera? I rapped a year later or so. Somebody called me. I asked me if I want to be in battle rap. And that was kind of it. I didn't really have no expectations of it. I was just going to support somebody at an event, rap some bars or whatever. It came out on the DVD. Then, you know, our league owner hit me up. My man Counselor from 16 Bars a couple years back. And it started up from there. Mm-hmm. The, the 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 on the beat shit though this this started from my man chosen from Verbal Wars on you know what I'm saying uh, he started the on the beat joint and uh, I was at uh, his first event and I ain't gonna front he do good business uh, it inspired me to keep going stay on beat so these last couple of years I ain't been doing the acapellas at all I just been fucking with the on the beat shit mm-hmm. which is way more fun so, man. Uh, mm-hmm. And how about you, Jack? Uh, nah, well, I started because um, I actually started performing at battle events. Um, I would just pull up, watch the battles, perform my music. And then uh, one day, one of the league owners just kind of threw it out there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Why don't you try this? And 
know what I'm saying? Me being me, like I said, on the beat, I'm like, damn, it can't be no different group for the, than that. I've been rapping for years. You know what I'm saying? But it is a little more complex than I thought in the beginning. I'm just like, yeah, rapping on beat right now. <coughs> now I know the craft of it. I know the art in it. I know, you know what I'm saying, the whole format, the performance. And you know what I'm saying that's me. This is to me. This is that was it. Once I got that first taste of that energy, you know what I'm saying, the energy in that building, having that first battle, that was it. It's like I feel like battle rapping is more. You know, they pay attention to what you're saying. Pay attention to the bars. Pay attention to you know what I'm saying. Doing music is like everybody do music. You gotta, you gotta do. You know what I'm saying. It, it's different. You could have a hot hook. You could rap bullshit. And just have a hot beat and a hot hook, and you good. Mm -hmm. This shit, you gotta talk your shit. You gotta talk. You gotta, you know what I mean? So, and it challenged me. Every time I just try to, my next opponent, I try to challenge myself. And this is definitely one of them battles where I just definitely gonna be me challenging myself for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, do you guys find it difficult to rhyme on the beat when it comes to battling, or you prefer the acapella method? Oh, no, I don't really find it difficult. The mm -hmm. only thing I do find difficult, I mean, sometimes is the reaction, being that I got so many acapella battles. <clears throat> when you get reactions sometimes in the acapella battle, my first reaction is to stop rapping, like let these niggas cheer, let them get that off so it can annoy my opponent or whatever. But in here, you don't got that window. You know what I'm saying? Nigga cheer, you got to keep that shit going. So it kind of bothers me that sometimes they cheering for your last bar. And I know they missing my setup for my next bar. You know what I'm saying? I'm already into my next bar. And usually I'm the type of nigga where my first bar got something to do with my last bar. You know what I'm saying? And like little four bar setups and shit. My first bar definitely got something to do with the last bar I'm about to say. So some of them be missing out on that shit. So they got to see it when it when it drop and shit. That's my only problem with it. Mm -hmm. Nah, see, that's dope. See, me, see, I, I like that you said that because me, I kind of like, when I'm battling, it's like, and that was like the kind of whole definition of uh, ball bullies. It's like, for me, it's kind of formatted different. Like he said, his last ball will, he'll connect with his last four balls. He'll keep going, have it lined up. Mm. Me, I kind of do different. I kind of like, unless it's something like when me and him got, got like a little history being there, I could talk about something that happened a year ago or whatever. Other than that, it's like, this ball going to be saying this, this ball going to be saying that, this ball going to be talking mm. about this, but... You, it's gonna make sense, and, and, and you're gonna you're gonna hear it. It's gonna hit. You, it's gonna hit. But it's it's this ball, this ball, and that was like the kind of definition of ball when he's like when it started. Mm -hmm. No, so, I like the. How do you fellas expect the crowd going to be? You know, performing in front of the crowd. <laughs> the going to be like. I ain't never been worried about the crowd. They gonna do what I tell them to do. I ain't never I ain't never had an issue with a crowd before in my life. Mm -hmm. I feel like. Uh, Anybody who got, like, I, I've heard people say, yo, the crowd wasn't fucking with me. Like, that was your fault. The crowd always fuck with me. I don't care where I'm at. I'm not I'm not one of the rappers. That's never been my excuse. I mean, I, I don't know if that's even a valid excuse just because I've never really been through it. So maybe I'm talking hot shit, but I don't feel there's never been a crowd that wasn't fucking with me. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. I could agree with that. I mean, I could agree with that. I love the crowd. Um, I think for me, the crowd is more. Of, I'm not worried because I mean, it's a confidence thing. I'm just I'm confident in what I'm saying. I'm confident in what I'm bringing. What I'm loaded with, and I feel like <coughs> anybody who, who, who anybody in the building you like battle rap, you are gonna fuck with what I'm saying. Um, you know what I'm saying, fan or not? Certain people, you gotta fuck with what certain people are saying. Like, I'm not gonna get up there and act like I never, uh, you know, I'm not into it when Jeopardy's rapping and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be up here and be phony and shit. Certain people who just got that, like, the last thing they gotta worry about is the crowd. You know what I'm saying? The crowd gonna fuck with them. Like, now, of course, you gotta do your job and keep the crowd entertained, but that's the whole point. Like, certain niggas like us, that's just, that's just an easy task. Like, you know, other people, they, right. they kind of struggling with that and shit. I always felt that's just an easy task for some people. Mm -hmm. So we're here. We got about two minutes left. We want predictions now. So we're going to go with the predictions. Yeah, yeah. Let's run through all these shit. All right. So, all shit. so we're going to start with you, Pep. Uh, give your predictions on the card and your battle. Uh, I got Jeopardy. With the with the wind in the building, but me on camera. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I don't really want to judge my back. I'm not here. 
I'm not really here to uh, destroy that, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. I like mm-hmm. when people do their first events and shit. You know what I'm saying? I've been a lot of a, a lot of people's first events. I was part of Verbal Warzone's first event. I was a part of I Battle's first event. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, I just like that. That's just dope. playing playing a part in history. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm not really here to pick who winning and losing, but on my part. But the other battles, we could get to that though. All right. So the yeah, other yeah. battles we got listed. Your boy Clip and Kush, the main event. So who you feel as those gonna win that one? I got Clip with the win only because I think I believe I watched Kush versus Tony Stans. I was on stage for that. Mm-hmm. Uh I thought Kush did very good. Uh yeah, yeah, he's a wonderful rapper. That's that's the one that I mean I watched other battles, but that's the one I was front and center for. I'm a Tony Stans fan. Uh he did wonderful. I just feel like I just feel like nobody can fuck with Clip because of his preparation. Like mm-hmm. his preparation is through the roof. Like Clip been ready since day one. It was since it was scheduled. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm right. I'm technically just finishing. You know what I'm saying? I right. know Clip like Clip is always like that. So it's like you can't beat that preparation. So that that's I like to me it's all about preparation and you know what I'm saying he got time to change shit. Like like let's say they get an argument today. He want to go change something in the round. He got time to do that and shit. He got the skills to do that. I feel there's no battle rapper on beat who could fuck with him because mm-hmm. of his preparation. So it's not even, a, it's not even, I don't want to play Kush, you know what I'm saying? Like, I knew Clip was going to win the tournament, you know what I'm saying? That's how mm-hmm. I was feeling. It's like, it's either going to be me or him. It came down to preparation. Mm-hmm. And Jap, you know, we got about 30 seconds left. So what's your predictions for that battle in the main event? Um, I think that one is going to be, uh, I'm, I'm going to get that one. I'm going to say I, I got my, my guy, Kush, uh, coming out, edging that. I fuck with both of them heavy. I know they both ball heavy. They both going to perform. They both going, you know what I'm saying? They both going to come. I think it's going to be a fight. That's the reason why that's the main event. I wouldn't be mad if people give that like a debatable. I wouldn't be mad at that. So I'm going I'm 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 to give my guy, Kush, edging that only because I've seen him. Like he said, the one versus Tony Stance, but I also see him had a couple battles after that. And I feel like even if it's on or off beat, that kind of gave him a, a, a warm up, a good edge, uh, you know, a practice. He know what he got, he know what he got to come to. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Well, friends, we are definitely looking forward to it. Hold on, hold on. We done? We, we got some other battles on the card. Yeah, but we only got a, a time limit, though. Yeah, now nah, everything, yeah, yeah now nah, yeah, everything. Every, I mean, you want to, you want to go through them real quick. You do them real quick. All right, so we can do that. We, we can just do got, that. we got, we got them waiting in the building, right? Yeah, they, we got, you know, two more that's waiting, so we can oh, get. My, them oh yeah, yeah, just, just run through the list real quick. Right, I'm going to get my predictions. All right, no doubt. So we got Fatal Cash Flow versus East Coast. Who you got? Yo, I fuck with East Coast. I know he's hungry, but I know Fatal. Uh, they have just been in his bag lately. He just got more work out there. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more work. I think East Coast got a couple more kinks to work out, then he's going to be good. All right. <laughs> Jack, who are you taking in that battle? Um, <laughs> I'm going to go the opposite. I'm going to go with East Coast. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's my guy. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like he got more to prove. You know what I'm saying? He, uh, he just in the tournament. You know what I'm saying? He, and he ain't, you know, have the outcome he really was looking forward to in the tournament. I feel like he got shit that he got to prove, that he want to prove. Um, that makes I sense. feel like he's going to be more hungry in that battle. All right. And on the card next, we got Verbal Artez versus S-Drop. Who you fellas taking in those battles? I'm going with S-Drop. Nah. No, no, no disrespect. I'm going with S-Drop, S-Drop is one of my favorites. He's one of my favorites. No disrespect. No doubt, no doubt. And then... Yeah, last- I'm going to go with S-Drop, too, only because... I'm not too familiar with verbal artists. Like he's a he's a new artist to me. That's the reason why I got him on the call. I want to bring out like some new artists. A lot of people don't really know. Uh, mm-hmm. but I've seen plenty of S drop battles. So that's why. No doubt, no doubt. And then last but not least, we got Hundo Luck versus E L Z. Who you fellas taking? Yeah, I'm a Hondo Luck fan, man. When he shows the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? I'm a Hondo Luck fan. I hope he makes it. I'm going to go with Hondo Luck. You know what I'm saying? I really hope he makes it to this battle and everything. Shouts out to him. He's very skilled. I'm very uh, looking forward to that battle. I'm looking forward to every battle on the card. Uh, yeah. no, nah, that's going to be that's gonna be, a, that's gonna be what, uh, a dope battle. I'm going to go with ELZ. Um, I'm kind of a more of a fan of ELZ work. You know what I'm saying? Even back when me and him both was battling on uh, 
battle on the beat and shit like that. Um, and he just now coming back after like a little break. I know he wasn't battling for a while, so that's another thing. He just had a battle versus Vigilante. I know he coming back out. He got shit to prove. Um, yeah, so I got L's on that one. No doubt. Fellas, but I got, I got me. I got me for mine. I got me for mine. Uh, even though I'm a fight for that. I'm a fight for that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go. All right, cool, cool. All right, fellas, we definitely appreciate you for taking the time yes, to come. Sir, up yo, here, shout man. out to Bar Bully too, man. Shout out to Bar Bully. No doubt. Yo, Jeff, you got any shout out? No nah, doubt. Salute to everybody on the call. Salute to you. Appreciate that, man. And everybody out there, y'all already know what to do. It's going down Saturday, June 22nd. The Stampede Bar Bullies presents. Make sure y'all there. Go cop them tickets at the door, $20. Or go get it online at evanbright.com. Ladies and gentlemen, we out. All you niggas in jeopardy. Y'all already know that's my name for all you niggas who question me. I ain't here to kill nobody for all you triggers and weaponry. If it's static, yeah, let them have it sniff all you niggas who step to me. Punch all them niggas who step to me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I pause so y'all catch your breath for me. Wanna be heard on the non-stop radio show? Send us your submissions in MP3 format at Let's Network Musically 212 at gmail.com. <laughs> This is Nine Stop Radio.